The pandemic has put things on hold for Guide Dogs of the Desert, an organization dedicated to raising and training dogs for the visually impaired. As News Channel 3's Madison Lyle reports, now that the county is in the red tier of reopening, it hopes to start providing dogs again for those in need. Here at Guide Dogs of the Desert, they usually have in-person trainings to make sure that a dog and their owner are used to each other before heading home. While we've been in the purple, most restrictive tier of the pandemic, they've been unable to do that. But now that we're in the red, they're hoping to make some changes. So a guide dog is invaluable to people who use them. They are they're, they're their safety net, so they uh, get them from one place to another, not only usually faster than with a white cane, but also safer. Michael Anna Padilla, a training supervisor at Guide Dogs of the Desert, introducing me to Rocky. They provide what most dogs provide to us. It's that companionship. She's training him for his very important duty in his future home. Rocky, find the door. We teach them specifically how to find doors, how to find stairs, how to find um, elevators and escalators. Due to the pandemic, they've been unable to match their dogs with disabled owners in need. Clients typically come here for a 28-day class. We can't bring everyone here um, within such close proximity. It's basically a dorm setting. Now that the county has eased some coronavirus restrictions, the organization finding a new solution. Right now our plan is to do what we call an in-home, where we actually bring the dog out to someone. And so it's the only interaction is the instructor with the person. They say an instructor will deliver the dog and complete their training at their new home. They'll be focusing on West Coast clients for now to avoid flying as much as possible. We've got people that are waiting to receive dogs. We've got dogs that are waiting to go meet their new people. And that's the other challenge. They're taking care of more dogs on site than usual, since they'd normally have found homes by now. And that cost adds up. They're also in need of what they're calling puppy raisers. So you get them when they're about um, eight weeks old mm -hmm. and you teach them basic manners. Sit down, stay. Puppy raisers keep puppies like this little guy, Tom, for about 18 months before giving them back to guide dogs of the desert for their training. For more information about puppy raising or how to donate to guide dogs of the desert, head to our website, KESQ.com. In Whitewater, Madison Wild News Channel 3.